Hello everyone and welcome to Building Web Applications. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about CSS selectors. So a CSS selector allows us to select one or more HTML elements and apply a style rule to it. In this video, we'll only be covering some simple selectors, such as selecting elements based upon their name, an ID, or a class attribute. There are some more complex selectors that are available to you, but we'll leave those for perhaps another video. So the first selector we've actually already seen, and that's where we select by an element's name. And in the previous examples, we've seen the P element get selected, and then the font color of blue being applied to any paragraph element. And of course, we've seen that our HTML just simply requires the paragraph tags around the text, and then what is inside of the paragraph changes to the color of blue in this case. But what if we don't want every paragraph to have this color of blue? What if we want it to be something else? Or maybe we only want to select specific paragraphs to have this color blue. Well, in that case, we can use a class selector. And a class selector starts with a period followed by the name of the class. So for example, period blue font followed by the rule of the color being set to blue would allow us to then in our HTML set the class attribute to the same name of blue font. And then that would make the text inside of that paragraph term blue. Now, any paragraph element in order to change the text to blue would require that this class attribute be applied. One of the other neat things about class selectors is that of course I can put this class attribute on pretty much any HTML element and if there's text inside of that HTML element it would of course change it to blue. So what if I want to be even more specific? Well I can select an ID. So on HTML documents you're only allowed to have an ID of the same name one time. So that means we can really be specific that only one element on the entire page is allowed to have some sort of rule applied. So in this case, we could say, we want a element that has a header ID to set the font color to red. And so in our HTML, if we set the ID attribute to header, then it would set the color of the header to red. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in a demonstration. One small thing I changed since our last video was I just changed the text inside of these paragraphs to be a little bit more generic and didn't mention the color of the text because that was getting a little bit confusing. So that's really the only thing that's changed. I still have the three paragraph elements inside of our body. And of course we have a link to the styles.css style sheet. And in our styles.css file, we can see that the paragraph element has the color green applied to the text of the paragraph element. Let's make a few modifications to our HTML now. The first thing I'm gonna do is in our third paragraph element, I'm gonna change this to a section element instead. And now if we go and refresh our page, we'll see that only the top two elements still appear green. And that's because again, we're only selecting the paragraph elements on our page to apply this rule of setting the font color to green. But what I'd also like to do is go ahead and set the alignment of the text to be in the center. So I'm gonna add an additional rule here to our paragraph element that's gonna say that the text alignment is going to be center. Now, once again, if I refresh our page, we'll see that the first and second elements have moved to the center of the page. Now, what if I want only this first element to be in the center of the page? And maybe I want this third element to also be in the center of the page, but I want this second element to move all the way to the left. Well, what I can do is I can go ahead and add a class selector, and I'm gonna name the class center. This is just the name I'm coming up with. It can really be pretty much anything. And then I'm gonna once again add the text align rule and say center. And since I don't want the second paragraph element here to be in the middle, 
what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and delete that rule from our paragraph element. And now I just need to add the center class attribute to any element that I want to see the text go to the middle. So in this case, I'm just going to go to the first paragraph element and say the class is set to center. And then for this section, I'm also going to say class is set to center. Now, once again, if I refresh the page, there we go. The first element is in the middle. The second element is to the left. And once again, the third element is also to the center. Now, let's say that I want to be even more specific about this top text here. This, this is text. What if I want this to act, act more like a header? Now, I could, of course, add the H1 tag here, but let's say that I'm just not really feeling the style of that. I still like it to be in a paragraph form. Eh, it's a little bit of a weird choice, but let's go with it. Okay, so what I can do then is I can go ahead and add an ID and call this header. Now what I can do is go to my styles.css and add an ID selector. So we'll do the pound sign or hashtag. And of course I named this header. So I'm going to select whichever element has the header ID and I'm going to apply the rule font size and I'm going to set it to extra, extra large. Now, if we go ahead and save it, which I do just to point out, I have under file autosave. So if you're wondering how I made those changes and they just kind of appeared on my browser, that is why it's because I have autosave selected. So if I go to my browser and I refresh, notice that this is text is now functioning almost like a header. With the knowledge you have so far, you could go pretty far, but I'm going to show you a few other neat little tricks that you can do. And the first one is you can combine different selectors into one. So for example, let's say that I wanted to make it so that in order for a center text align to apply, it must also be a paragraph element. So it wouldn't apply to a section. So if I put a P in front, so the first thing I'm selecting for is a paragraph element and a paragraph element that has a center class on it. Those might be the only ones that I want to apply this center text alignment. So if we look back in our index.html, we can see that our section class does not fit this selector because it is not a paragraph element. However, our first paragraph element does because it has both the P and the center class on it. Now, once again, if we refresh, we'll see that now our this text will will also appear or will appear also has been moved back over to the left while our first paragraph element is once again still centered. But let's say that we want to apply a styling to everything. Well, what we can do is make all of our text green by simply using the star and that will select every element on our HTML and change the font color to green. That's pretty cool. So once again, it's automatically saved. Let's click refresh and there you go. All of our text now is green, including that third element. The last thing I wanna show you is how you can actually group selectors together. So you just need to have a comma separated list of things that you want to apply this to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these two rules here and selectors. And I'm gonna remove that as well. And let's say that I want to make it so that all paragraph elements and section elements are green. So let's go down here and I'm gonna say, let's change this middle from a paragraph to, oh, I don't know, let's go ahead and go with a span. Okay, so we have one paragraph element, one span element and one section element. And in our styles.css file, Notice that we're going to set the font color to green for any paragraph elements or section elements, but not a span element. So with those changes saved, I go back to my web page and refresh, and there you go. We have green text for the first element, which is our paragraph. It's not being applied to the span, but it is being applied to the section. Yeah.